Well, that's what we set out to do the last uh, four games, but we kind of messed it up. But honestly, I thought it was really uh, pertinent that we were playing our last game at PK Park for the Grand Senior Day. So we could keep our eye off the regional scoreboard, so to speak, and keep our eye on the scoreboard, and just play our hearts out for the fans, the fan appreciation day, and the seniors invested a lot in the teams and the and That might have been refreshing. And quite honestly, I didn't like the way we started in that because we sort of really needed to know the way we responded to some adversity and a lot of that. I just told them I didn't like the way they were responding. The shoulders were down and they were negative. And the guys were taking individual agendas and we don't do that. We don't teach that. They've grown out of that and then we fell back into that trap today. It's basically because of frustration. We all feel that way. When you're trying hard to win and it doesn't go your way, you get frustrated. Uh, real warriors don't show frustration. Real warriors suck it up and they get to the next pitch. And hit three run home runs. Well, and Eddie's blow is a huge win. Obviously, that makes it easy when some guy swings about one time. A two out three ended up being the story of the game, probably. And Packer coming off the bench. And what about Madison Moore? He's uh, gone from being a guy towards the bottom of our pitching staff to, to the guy that Coach Jackson was willing to give the ball to. But maybe our season on the line. But uh, taking a potential All-American kind of player from Scott and Cup out. So tip your cap to Maddie and Coach Jackets for doing that and making enough for all the pitches to get us together. What were you thinking? Well, you know, I just hope that he had, Eddie's kind of been a little bit south, going south. You know, he has been extremely hot. Eddie uh, tends to rise to the occasion. You know, that cycle opportunity that he had, he went for a home run and got it. You know, he's, he's worked very hard with his injury and everything else, and I think he was thinking about it being senior, senior day and maybe doing something very special. I didn't, I didn't ask him if he was trying to hit a home run, but I bet he was, you know, and uh, he's been able to do that. And when a guy's whatever he was, probably one for 15, and then can step up and have that kind of confidence, he speaks volumes about his mentality. He thought it was a pop up when he did. Did you feel it? I didn't think it was out, quite honestly, either. I didn't yeah, it, it didn't look like from upstairs. Either. But, uh, you know, as we've seen before, his ball carries pretty good. Well, and, uh, I was happy when I saw it go over the fence. You were? Yeah, you're kidding. really happy. <laughs> Madison, the closer now, is he pretty good about the position? Well, obviously, he's our hottest bullpen. So that, that can change, you know, like the win. But I would say the next game we play, Lord willing, Where's your doubt? 10%? Is that positive? Yeah, I'll have to say. I'm on record to say I'll be pissed off. Nobody can ever explain it. We're in the top. Every, you know, the only thing that would make sense is that we're, I don't know where, I guess Andrea could answer the question, where we end up after all the dust settles in the back, what place we are. Tied for five with Cal. With Cal. So they beat us two out of three. And where's Arizona? They, they won, deep, they they won, won today. today. So they, the Beavers are deep behind you. Then tied for seven. I think we're in. I think we ended up tied with the Beavers or tied with Arizona. Then you have to look at the head to head and you know, advantage Beavers there. But I, again, I'm going to go on record. I'll be just very, very, very disappointed if we don't get 18 teams. The only thing that could. Uh, make that happen is and I see this kind of happening there were some upsets set up today like Fresno's playing Hawaii and Connecticut's playing St. John's and Both we, those were Hawaii won that Hawaii and St. John's <laughs> won yeah. that's not good because and that, that's why I don't like conference tournaments those teams like Connecticut that are in that are hosting don't need to win so they don't throw their pitching and it lets you know it it takes away an opportunity for a better team to get in there. That's why I don't like those automatics coming out of this tournament. But I was just about to say that, that that's what you don't know, whether they can get enough teams from the West when they have those tournaments, and there's some bad RBI teams that win those, those one weekend tournaments. So we'll see. We'll keep our fingers crossed, and hopefully uh, there wasn't too many upsets across the country, and we're in. So you'll be open for all of us to wait for you over there in the morning? Yeah, we'll be over there, and I think uh, I think every, uh, Joe said he'd like all you guys over there, right? We'll send out an advisory tonight to let everybody okay. know what okay. the plan is, but I think they need you there. Okay, we're starting. All right.